Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. For anybody who likes rain, this video is for you. Let's see, well, this is about 0.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, this one doesn't have enough light. Maybe it'll come on in a minute. And this one says 32.7. So, I don't know, it's about 4 o'clock. Is it that late? Yeah, about about 3.30 anyway. So, it should be about this dark out. Been w working downstairs in the, uh, in the lower garage trying to clean up. And basically what happens to me is I end up with these assortment boxes that look like this. Of flea market stuff and harbor freight stuff. And stuff I find as I'm grinding through the hoard in another box. And I basically put it in one big box and it sits there until it gets another box stacked on top of it. And another box. And another box. So I've been basically sorting through that kind of stuff. Really exciting. And I figured I'd come out and just take a look. See how the hoard's holding up in the rain. Um, i got to put another tarp on this. You guys... I think you could see there's, I mean, most of the water is not coming in, but there is water coming in. This one's shedding pretty good, but, you know, stuff in here isn't exactly major dry, and the sheds are good. I built them right. We had a lot of wind, 35, 40 mile per hour or so. So, these things stayed put. Stuff under here isn't exactly completely dry either. I still haven't put the, uh, I'm going to call it curtain tarps up on the end of this. And I really need to get to that because the water is splashing up and getting on the back of these things. And I really don't need that right because next thing you know the chain seizes and the rear end sees and you run into trouble like that as I'm walking on the ground the ground is not muddy it's hard it's frozen so if uh, the rain were getting here um, if it was cold enough this would be one heck of a nor'easter there's the John Deere under the plastic so yeah, just a quick, quick tour. Yeah, I've been grinding, grinding through the boxes, kind of one at a time. Here's the water I talk about, right? You can see it kind of puddled so far. My French drain appears to be keeping up. This is the area where I really get quite a bit of puddling. And then it comes in. You can see it's dripping there, but it's going down the French drain and disappearing. All right, not good for the camera getting it all wet like this. I got the garbage can here. Um, oh, and you could see some water is kind of trickling in under the door, and it's just going right into the sump. Right, the pump's not plugged in, and the hose isn't out. So, like all those boxes, all those boxes, um, I've I've ground through, you know. And sometimes it's it's literally this is the stuff I've thrown away so far. Um, so, unfortunately, it's it's almost literally um, piece by piece, right? Where you got to throw away stuff one thing at a time. Excuse the darkness, the lights will be on in a second. In here, I just tried to make make the pads a little wider. That's the furnace running. Um, and sweep up the floor, do a little, little clean up. And it might not look like much, but this is actually widened up quite quite a lot. A little dark here, but I still have to clean out around the uh, 
the wood stove, right? Don't want to light it with engines on top, plus all that fuel all around it, or that, or how about acetylene torch? That's good to have near your near your wood stove. Yeah, I gotta I gotta finish cleaning up this rack, but once again, gotta do it literally one box one box at a time. So it's getting there. I'm uh, making making the space. Um, so just a quick video today. Obviously not a great day for making videos because I can't be outside playing with my toys. And because I'm a jackass and don't have a clean garage, I can't be inside playing with my toys either. Alright folks, um, if uh, you're a crazy hoarder, you got all this crap like I do. Everything from oscilloscopes to meters to Dremel tools. Uh, lights that come on when the power goes out, you got it all. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing. Um, remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and uh, remember to enjoy all your days, even if you're stuck cleaning up your garage. Bye now, folks.